Well, thank you, Sarah Gary, so much. It is getting warmer out. We know that. A little warmer today, and we're here with Caitlin De La Haba, the head softball coach here at Lafayette, going into her fifth season. Thanks so much for a couple minutes. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. Well, let's let's get right into it. Uh, you got a couple of weeks. You're going to be on the field. You haven't had that much time outside, but you're going to be on the field in the Eastern Shore Classic. Tell me a little bit about that and how exciting it's got to be in the locker room to finally get back on the field. It's really exciting. The girls are really excited. I think that we have done everything that we can to try to get prepared. We try to get creative with what we can indoors but we've gotten outside a couple times on the field hockey field but it will definitely be nice to get on some dirt in a couple weeks so there's only so much you can do in the cages obviously you got to get outside and you had a chance to do that a little bit but we haven't had much snow it's been a kind of an odd winter uh, but how much has that set you back if at all um, it's never been cold, and I feel like it's always windy at Metzger, so uh, we kind of prepare for that, and we schedule our practices to kind of look at the weather, see what we can do early in the week to get outside, but for the most part, we just try to create, get creative indoors, and our girls are really flexible with when we make a change. We're like, hey, it's going to be beautiful. Let's go outside, so they get excited for that because they know if it's nice out, that means we're closer to playing games. Now, last year, you didn't have a lot of non-conference games. It was just like into the Patriot League, here we go. You had that one Patriot League win, but how much is that going to help you this year, having a nice out-of-conference schedule to kind of get a feel for this team? It's going to help us a lot. I think we've been kind of young the last few years, so now we have we have a really heavy junior class. We have some really experienced seniors, and I think the leadership there is really good. Like I think the culture of our program has shifted to a place that we've been working really hard to get to for the last few years, so I think all of those things are valuable, and I think those preseason games to get some momentum and get some confidence are really important for us. Well, the only thing to follow are the W's right now because you guys have improved in so many areas home runs ERA on base percentage I mean everything since you showed up in 2017 has the arrows been pointing up that's got to be exciting as well you have a, a, a nice nucleus of young people too, three freshmen that you're really going to rely on and you have to do that with a tough schedule absolutely yeah we have a pitcher a catcher and a shortstop in our freshman class so I think obviously those are positions that are really impactful I think they're all going to get to play a lot and make an impact on the game and I think that you know, from the top to the bottom of the lineup, we need everyone to contribute. And I, I do think so when people talk about trusting the process, like, you know, the, the ups and downs of building a program, you don't always get the wins, but some of those statistics are really important to building and getting those wins. And so we continuously harp on focusing on doing the little things right, you know, and making sure that we're working on them day in and day out so that eventually the outcomes start to show the way that we want to. Well, the one statistic to me is you scored almost twice as many runs as you did in the previous year, and obviously that's going to equate to wins. You get a little bit of pitching and stuff. Tell me a little bit about the incoming class. You have five or six incoming freshmen in the 2026 class. That's got to be exciting. You don't have to mention any names, but what, what kind of holes were you looking to fill maybe in this roster? Yeah, so next year we have, again, a bunch of really Really good athletes coming in we have a pitcher coming in we've got some middle infielders a bunch of people who can do a lot of different things which is something we've really focused on in our recruiting efforts is to just bring in that versatility and make sure that when we keep our roster small we have a lot of value in each person that we bring in so we're definitely excited for them all really good kids but also really excited to get here and make a difference and all looking to be great Lafayette students commit to the community and they're, and they're all obviously coming from good programs lastly let, just tell me if you had to put your finger on one thing where do you guys really need to improve? What's that one area you came into the season saying, hey, ladies, we need to be better at this if we're going to get more Ws? Consistency. I think we have moments where we look fantastic, and then we've had moments in the past where we weren't our best, and I think – day in and day out trying to really focus on those things that we can do really well catching and throwing at a high level hitting the ball hard consistently throwing strikes as pitchers working ahead and count so those are all things that every single day when we structure our practices that's what we're working on so that when we get to games we can just do it and have fun yeah moving runners around obviously getting first pitch strikes getting off the field and getting your offense back in in the, in the dugout is huge thank you so much for a couple minutes it's getting warmer out. I'm getting my golf clubs out. You're getting your softball mid out. Thank you so much for a couple minutes. Yeah, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Guys, it's getting warmer. Softball around the corner. Back to you. Very impressive, Caitlin. We wish you the very best. John and I are ready to play sloping softball. <laughs> we'll be back.